Emco Remote Installer allows you to deploy software remotely on Windows computers across a local network. The application offers multiple ways to deploy software, depending on network capacity and the complexity of the deployment task, among other things. In this video, you can see a quick overview of the application's basic features demonstrated using real deployment tasks. Let's deploy the Java installation on a few remote computers using the simplest deployment operation available. First of all, we need to select the required target computers and initiate the quick install operation. Here we need to select the installation file and configure the deployment options. To deploy an executable installation remotely, we need to configure it to run silently, so we have to specify command line parameters to activate silent deployment. This information is available on the Java website. Once the configuration is finished, we can start the deployment process. Java is deploying, and we can see the progress on the status bar. Now we can check the installation status, and, as you can see, the application has been deployed successfully on both computers. Now we have Java installed on two computers, but how can we deploy it on the rest of the computers in the domain? Since we need to repeat the same installation multiple times, it makes sense to avoid repeatedly configuring the installation options. In this view, we can create bundles that store the software deployment configurations and use the bundles in deployment operations. Here we have the bundle for Java and, as you can see, it includes install configuration, uninstall, and repair actions. Note that it has the same settings for Java installation that we used in the previous deployment, but if required, we can configure the pre- and post-install actions here. Let's use this bundle in the deployment operation, but first we need to find out how to specify target computers. Of course, we can select the remaining computers manually, like we did in the previous deployment, but what if some of them already have Java installed? We need to select target computers based on specific conditions and configure the application to select all computers from the domain where Java is not installed. We can do this by using the collection we have here. As you see, collections can include static computers, queries, and filters. In our case, using the query allows us to select all computers from the domain. Using the filter eliminates computers that have Java installations. We can run preview and see the list of the reported computers to ensure that the collection works correctly. Now we can deploy Java using our bundle and collection by initiating the deployment operation. Here we need to specify the deployment sequence by selecting the install package from the Java bundle. As you can see, here we can configure multiple packages, so we can use multi-step deployments that include install, uninstall, and repair operations. We need to deploy Java only, so we can go to the next step. Here we can see our collection that's used to define target computers. It is possible to add other collections in this dialog if required. Let's press the Finish button and start the deployment process. MCO Remote Installer enables you to not only install, but also uninstall and repair software remotely. So, let's uninstall Adobe Reader. To uninstall software, we need to find the computers on which it's installed. In this view, we can see the software inventory information collected from remote computers. We can select a computer to see its inventory information. We want to uninstall Adobe Reader from all domain computers, so we need to select the domain to see all of its software, find Adobe Reader entries, and initiate uninstallation. As you can see, Adobe Reader is uninstalling with no configuration requests because it's an MSI uninstallation that works silently. MCO Remote Installer updates software inventory information automatically, having completed deployment operations, so the Adobe Reader entries are removed after uninstallation. That was just a quick overview of the application's basic features. To learn about the scheduling of remote tasks, repeating the failed deployments, tracking software changes, and other features, refer to the online documentation or watch our videos. Stay tuned!